Now you can also buy our favorite toys from www.puntunkids.com. Link is in the description. Gattu Chinki go to Dubai. It is said that when you travel across the country and abroad, you get to experience new things and learn something new which helps in the growth of your brain. After the passport was ready, Gattu and Chinki were waiting for their Dubai trip and finally the day came. They both were very excited and were packing their bags. That is when Papa said to Mummy, "Keep all the tickets, visas and passports in one place carefully." Mummy, I will keep them carefully. Chinki kept all the documents properly in a bag. Mummy smiled at her and said, "Very good, Chinki." Gattu also helped Papa in calling the cab and keeping all the luggage in the cab. The whole family left for the airport. On their way to the airport, they saw an aeroplane flying in the sky. Gattu said to Chinki, "Chinki, after some time we will also be flying in the sky over there in an aeroplane." It is going to be so much fun, Gattu. After some time, they reached the airport. They completed all the formalities of security checks and boarding, and then they boarded on a big aeroplane. Oh wow! This plane is so big. When the plane started running on the runway and then took off, Gattu and Chinki were very excited. Within a few minutes, the plane was up in the sky, and they could only see white cotton-like clouds everywhere. Look, Chinki, we are flying among the clouds. After a few hours, their flight landed in Dubai. On their way from the airport to the hotel, Papa, Mummy, Gattu, and Chinki saw mesmerizing skyscrapers of Dubai, and they loved seeing it. After reaching the hotel, Papa said to everyone, "Kids, you should take some rest. Then in the evening, we all will go to see Burj Khalifa." Wow, the tallest building in the world. In the evening. When Gattu, Chinki, Papa, and Mummy went to see Burj Khalifa, they couldn't believe how tall the building was. It was so tall that it felt like you could touch the moon if you climbed to the top of the building. So, kids, tell me, do you like this Burj Khalifa? Oh God, this building is more amazing than that I have imagined. That day when we saw this building on the TV, we couldn't believe. This was so tall, but now we can see this with our own eyes. Yes, kids. Burj Khalifa is taller than 800 meters. Let's go inside this building. Saying this, Mummy, Papa, Gattu, and Chinki went inside the Burj Khalifa. They took a lift and directly went to the observation decks, which was on the 125th level. From there, they could see the stunning view of the whole of Dubai. This view is so incredible, right, Chinki? Yes, Katu. From here, even the tall buildings looks like blocks of a game. After seeing the unforgettable sight from Burj Khalifa, they went to see a Dubai Fountain Show, which was opposite Burj Khalifa. Dubai Fountain Show was organized in a pond situated among the tall buildings. It was a combination of music and light, along with fountains. and it felt like the fountain water was dancing according to the music look at there chinki this fountain is so tall yes and the directions of the fountain are also changing with the music some of these fountains even reaches the height of 150 meter which is almost equivalent to 40 floor building when the next tallest stream came out of the fountain papa said This Dubai fountain show is the largest choreographed fountain show in the world. Gattu and Chinki clapped happily. <laughs> Just to see this happiness on your faces, I planned the Dubai trip. After enjoying the Dubai fountain show, Papa, Mummy, Gattu and Chinki left to see Palm Jumeirah. Palm Jumeirah is considered to be a world famous group of man-made islands. It is also considered to be a marvel of modern architecture and engineering. It is a group of islands surrounded by water from all sides and its design resembles to the palm leaf. It looked very unique and beautiful. To go to Palm Jumeirah, Gattu, Chinki, Mummy and Papa boarded a monorail which took them from the mainland to the Atlantis Hotel directly. The view outside the monorail was amazing. First, they got to see Dubai's modern buildings and then just water everywhere. And Atlantis Hotel is world famous for its unique design in the whole world. 
Look, Tinky, we have seen this Atlantis Hotel in lots of movies. Yes, it is so beautiful. Dubai is also a famous shooting destination for Hollywood and Bollywood. Hence, you might have seen this Atlantis Hotel in many movies. Palm Jumeirah has also lots of hotels, commercial complexes, and many places to roam around. It was an amazing experience for Gattu and Chinky. After visiting so many places, Gattu and Chinky were very tired, and when they returned to their hotel, they slept deeply. The next day, when Mummy woke them up, they were curious about what places they were going to see. What's the plan for today, Papa? Yes, what places are we going to see today? Mummy smiled and looked at Papa. Today, the first thing we are going to do is shop for your mummy, and after that, we will go to Desert Safari. They went to the Dubai Mall for shopping, which is the most famous mall in Dubai. When Gattu and Chinky saw how huge the Dubai Mall was, they were surprised. They had never seen a mall that is spread over such a huge land. Oh God, this mall is so huge! Everywhere we look, we can see only the mall stretched ahead of us. Hey, look! There is some information written about Dubai Mall on that board. Gattu and Chinky went near the board and started reading. This mall is as large as two hundred football grounds. Are all the things in Dubai long, tall, or huge like this one? <laughs> Even if we spend the whole day, we will not be able to cover this whole mall. It has around twelve hundred retail stores in Dubai Mall. Dubai Mall is one of the most favorite shopping destinations in the world. Mummy did a lot of shopping there. She bought clothes for the kids, Papa, and for herself. Some interesting gifts for the relatives, and a few decorative items for home. Mummy was enjoying shopping over there. Gattu and Chinky also bought some toys from a toy store, and Papa bought an e-book reader for himself. And then it was the time for Desert Safari. Apart from Burj Khalifa, the most unique thing that Gattu and Chinky experienced was the Desert Safari. Gattu, Chinky, Mummy, and Papa sat in a big SUV, and then they roamed in a vastly spread desert. When the driver of the SUV would turn the car on the dangerous slopes of sand dunes. They felt the rush of excitement as well as fear. I am scared that the car might turn upside down. Don't be scared, Chinky. This is the fun of desert safari. Yes, yes. And these drivers are very experienced. Nothing will happen. After riding the sand dunes in an SUV, they went to do adventure sports in the desert. Gattu and Chinky tried sandboarding over there. Whereas Papa and Mummy enjoyed quad biking, at night there was another attraction of Desert Safari, which is to enjoy local music, dance, and tasty food in a tent under the sky. The decoration of lights and tents created a wonderful atmosphere. People were dancing to Arabic music, and many artists were performing their art. This was a very different experience, and Gattu and Chinky enjoyed the Desert Safaris most in the whole Dubai trip. When the trip ended, the whole family boarded a flight from Dubai to India. Gattu and Chinky were very happy. Everything was so amazing. Dubai is really an awesome place. Yes, I will never forget our Dubai trip ever. If you are liking our videos, then like them, comment them, and subscribe.